Hello reality viewers, welcome back again to Reality Latest Gist, the home of news and politics. For this channel, we they drop news every day and we they react to every video where it comes our way. And our reality news now we they drop for this channel and we they also they talk on as it be. If today now the first time we say they come across this channel, you are highly welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. And if you are returning subscribers, I appreciate all of you now for now massive support to this channel. I say may God bless all of you now in Jesus name. Amen. I get video away I want to present to Una this very moment. And I go to follow now. They watch the video. After we don't watch them together, make we drop our opinion constructively for the comment section. Like our videos and also share our videos if possible. Bye for now. No, I don't really understand my correct people. I go drop this video. Make we watch them. I'm gonna drop on a comment below. Waiting this mad they talk. Now them get Nigeria. Person will be say not commit any crime. Una go kidnap her for another country. Carry and come this fake Nigeria country. Una come say they no go release her for what? For which crime will be say commit? No, Nigeria need to break into many places. We need to scatter Nigeria because Nigeria not they work for everybody. They only they work for Fulani people. So Fulani man go come talk for inside Nigeria say may they not release person will be say not commit any crime. Members of Northern Consensus Movement, NCM, comprising of notable Northern uh, activists and association of traders, transporters, and marketers dealing in consumable foodstuffs, cattle, grains, and many other food items that shuttles between the northern and the southern part of the country, call for this press conference as a response to some Igbo leaders hosted for a reception by Mr. President uh, Muhammad Buhari and the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces Federal Republic of Nigeria at the Presidential Villa Abuja, where they requested for the release of their tribal warlord, Nnam Kanu. In fact, this visit by the Igbo leaders to Mr. President, seeking for the IPOB leader, uh, uh, seeking for the release of the IPOB leader is unacceptable, uh, unacceptable by NCM, because this type of gatherings is what usually encourages ethnicity and foiling ethnic crisis for too long in Nigeria. For how long shall we as Nigerians be looking at ourselves in tribal lines? We have over 50 uh, ethnic groups and 529 tribes in Nigeria. So each group should gather themselves to also rock after committing series of crimes against fellow citizens and demand for the release of the perpetrators because they represent their ethnic interests. Meanwhile, going by the position of the president, that he will look into their request, despite the weight it carries as, as confessed by him, we in the NCM will have no option than to mobilize northerners, a northern organization and interest groups that lost their loved ones properties as uh, uh, lost loved ones and properties as a result of Namdekanu's atrocities to also seek audience with the president as he's about to set a precedence for not putting into consideration those still feeling the pains for killings and the loss of loved ones notwithstanding Mr. President swore to the to protect Nigeria to protect every Nigerian irrespective of his tribe uh, or religious background. Therefore it is important to note that each ethnic group uh, too has its own peculiar problem and should go and see the present on their personal problems. In any case, the Igbo leaders did not, uh, the Igbo leaders did not and have not gone to discuss how Nigeria is to progress into future, but to, uh, but to release to them their tribal boy, despite the non-daily killings of other innocent tribes uh, in Nigeria, which they are aware of. The NCM want to make it critically clear that if Nambikanu should be released to his tribal by gods, we will mobilize other ethnic groups to act in the same way and also later demand for audience with the president for their release. It is expedient to note that 
A stinge in time saves nine. We will always prefer to be addressed as Nigerians than reducing Nigeria to a mere ethnic uh, jaguist. In conclusion, Inam Dekanu is facing a criminal charges against the state. Therefore, it's not, there's no amount of pleading by his kinsmen to be just released after being instrumental to the killings of over 178 secu uh, security personnel, loss of innocent lives, and, uh, uh, and properties. You know, uh, uh, properties of individuals and that of even governments that is worth trillions uh, of Naira by the outlawed IPOB and uh, ESN in Namdekanu's group. Here what we are saying is simple. There is, it is impossible as northerners to believe that some group of people, to be precise, the Igbos, after so many lives were lost in the name of Nam De Kano and uh, uh, IPOP slash his ESN outlawed organization, that so many lives were lost, properties destroyed, more than almost 200 security personnel were killed, government properties destroyed, individual properties destroyed, yet Igbo leaders didn't consider to go to visit the, pre visit the president in an issue that will bring Nigeria together to discuss Nigeria, to discuss the future of Nigeria, to discuss the development of Nigeria. Instead, they are going to request for president to release someone who is who has committed treasonable felony against the Nigerian state, who has been the cause of loss of lives and property of innocent security personnel that are doing lawful duty for the protections of lives and property of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, the killings of innocent Nigerians, most especially Nigerians from the northern part of Nigeria, who were in the southern part in the name of lawful business, Inam Dekanu instigated the killings and destructions of lives and property. Every Nigerian is aware of the Biafra radio. Every Nigeria is aware of the kind of broadcast Inam Dekanu have been having and the instigative statement the, 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 he has called for war he has instructed for killings he has done that with impunity he has done that without respect he has called Nigeria and Nigerians zoo, he calls us monkeys yet these evil leaders didn't see that as a fault they are going to the federal government to demand that Inam Dekanu be released just like that unconditionally in the name of whatever they think for as long as the president deems it fit to provide that opportunity for the Igbos to go and begin to demand for Nam Dekanu, there are so many other northerners that were arrested in issues that is not even as close as that of Nam Dekanu. But no northerner has ever gone to the president to request for the release of those people because we know the law, we believe in the law, we respect the law, and we are allowing the law to take its course on anybody that commits whatever kind of crime. But yet the Igbos are not seeing what Nam Dekanu or what Nam Dekanu did as anything faulty. They are even going to request that he should be released unconditionally. We even heard they were already mobilizing to begin to visit northern areas to lobby them to go to President Buhari and ask for the release of Nam Dekanu. We, the Northern Consensus Movement, in the past made a declaration of 100 million for whoever produces Nam Dekanu to us for onward delivery to the federal government. Coincidentally, the security agencies did their work and arrested Inam Dekanu and got him delivered. We also said uh, Inam Dekanu should be prosecuted and those responsible or sponsors of Inam Dekanu and his outlawed IPOB and ESN be investigated, brought to book, and then uh, charged according to the law. All this we have done. And then just for the Igbo leaders to feel that all this is rubbish as far as they are concerned and they are demanding for the release of Nam Dekanu then we will have be left with no option then than to begin to also mobilize our groups and opinion leaders of the are also the members of those that lost their lost their lives and properties in the instigated Nam Dekanu killings 
to also uh, go to the president and demand as usual the payment of compensation for the lost uh, for the life lost also for the properties lost and also to demand for the release of those northerners who commit various offenses at various times that have been arrested that we never asked for their release since this is now the precedence that is about to be set we will also do that yes. and if Nandi Kanu is released if Nandi Kanu is released after all these things also we will also have to take the next option of also mobilizing our people to do the same thing Nandi Kanu is doing since we know that at the end of the day we, all that is needed is only for our emails to go to the president and request for the release of those that are perpetrating this act and then the president will release them once he's released we will also take that action it is uncalled for nigeria is a state that has a constitution those that constitution is the guiding principles of nigeria and nigerians and this man know too well that there is that constitution that nigeria is a constitutional country but yet like i said he called us zoo he called every nigerian monkeys he said we're in a zoo and that we are all monkeys and now he is coming back to be uh, his people are coming to see for forgiveness in a zoo and going to monkeys to seek for forgiveness of those that are not monkeys we are saying no to it we are disagreeing and we are calling on the president to respect the constitution of the federal republic of nigeria to which he swore that he will protect every life and property of nigerians he has sworn to that it is his responsibility he should keep to that oath of office that he took without he, that he will not do favor to anybody he will not look at anybody's face he will only consider what the law says and allow the law to take its course on whoever breaks the law